to a beautiful start. So today we're on a mission to feel more blessed and a little less stressed. And one of my favorite ways to do that is unwind with a good movie, right? So now we are blessed to have the star of one of this season's biggest blockbusters who chose to join the TAM fam for a daytime exclusive. Zoe Ashton has been known for in the UK for years, but her role as the villainous warrior scientist Darwin in the Marvels has people worldwide talking. Take a look. This is just the beginning. She tore a hole in space. There's a different reality leading into ours. What are you prepared to do? I'm invincible. Your powers only make me stronger. Woo! Zoe is making her first stop in daytime to see the Tam fan. We're so blessed to have her. Please welcome Zoe Ashton to the show! I'm on your show. I, I, I'm thrilled. I am your biggest fan. Actually, I, don't, I, well, I mean, one of them. Obviously, one of them. I just, I love you, Tamron. What? I just think you're so I love you, so and I can't smart. tell you. My nieces are like at fangirling. Oh. Fangirling. They're so thrilled. I said to you, I don't know if I should be afraid because this character, <laughs> you got me. I mean, you come out all sweet and innocent. <laughs> that person there, keeping oh me God. up at night. <laughs> Look at that. But I, you know what? I love your backstory. Your parents were teachers. Yeah. You are a poet, an award-winning poet at oh. age 16. Yeah. You won a the London Poetry Slam. You know, it's so nice that you picked that out because actually everything starts from poetry for me. Yeah. Like every role that I do, you know, it's this art form that just feels so um, simple and accessible. And it doesn't matter who it is, you know, we all love a quote or a poem yeah. or something that keeps us going, something that we can always return to. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm a poet. Thank I, you for saying you, that. You are an award-winning poet. And when you're done with the Marvel Universe, if you want to come on here and, you know... I will. You, we got to work that do out, man. Do some beat poetry. Do some beat poetry. Yeah, Why do I keep snack. saying things with an accent when you say it? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> People, of course, <laughs> fell in love with you on Broadway yes. when you were there with your fiance, Tom Hiddleston. Yes, yes. You're, you guys have a baby now. The baby's <laughs> a year old. Look at you. You're always dressing up in yes, costumes. Yes, I know. This was, this is like, what do they call it? Because you're a poet when you're foreshadowing. Wow. I, I know what you mean, like right. a foreshadowing. Because this was before. A manifesting. The film. Do you know what's so weird? That was the only costume that fit me. <laughs> we we were on Broadway, and and when you're on Broadway, you have to keep selling your show, you know, because it's a big right, it's a big theater. deal. It's a big deal. It's a lot of money exchanging hands on Broadway. And uh, oh, okay, and, can I just soak in this? <laughs> okay, really. Um, now I'm happy we're not showing you in the costume from <laughs> from the store down the street. You look. And first, in this, in oh. this, having a one-year-old baby, I don't know how you glam it up so quickly. Oh, honestly, I, well, I take my cue from women like you, Tamara, oh. honestly. <laughs> and, right? And you inspired, you inspired me to wear color today. I did? You did. Because you can leave that here, and I can inspire <laughs> to wear it tomorrow. <laughs> Cosmo UK, you talked about being able to relate to all of your characters. Yeah. The Marvel Universe, as you know, is a whole different beast. Yeah. The fandom and the commitment. Yeah. And when you rate, I mean, they do these little cue scores, if you will, on <laughs> characters and how you bring them. The fans went crazy when they saw you. <laughs> oh, it's good. true. It's true. Did they? Oh, my goodness. I hope so. Wow. Look at that woman. Um, <laughs> as I, I'm saying look at that woman because that, I'm basically making the film for me was split into two halves, which was 
pre-baby and post-baby. <laughs> so that's the pre-baby lady, and then there's some post-baby. And so when you in came back well. post-baby, were you even tougher? Because you're like, listen, listen, I got a <laughs> newborn up at home over here. <laughs> yeah, probably actually, <laughs> probably. It's so funny when you do become a mum. Maybe you feel like this. Your edges fall off. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Like you just have no edge. But anymore. then you have to play a villain. And then you have to play a villain. I mean, and you're a brilliant actress, but I, 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 I hear so often, and I know I felt this way, you're doing your craft, you have this huge project, the Marvels, but your heart is still at home. Yeah. How did you get into such a, a as you said, an edgy character when your softness is shining through? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I, I keep everyone very close to me all the time, yeah. so there was no actual leaving of the baby. <laughs> it was kind of all happening at the same right. time. Um, so, yeah, I have a very supportive partner, thankfully, and family, and yeah. so we just made it a family event, really. <laughs> So that was the documentary that should have been made while we were doing I the I love that. Do the, do the documentary. <laughs> so now, as I said, this is your... I'm so honored because this is an exclusive daytime event for us. Your first one in the U.S. Yeah. Our season five, this is our season five, and, and we dedicated it to the number five, which represents freedom, curiosity, and grace. Yeah. Love that. And that was very important. Here you are on this epic journey of success. Do you feel more free than ever? I mean, the 16-year-old poetry slam kid mm. now here in the States and the international superstar. This is why you are who you are. Being in your gaze and feeling your <laughs> intelligence and, like, generosity is actually really overwhelming. Let me take a sec. I love you. Um, <laughs> I just love you. It's a brilliant question. I think, I think people think that with success comes some key to the yeah. door of freedom in some way. But actually, for me, I just feel so blessed to be at a point in my life where self-work, self-healing, self-love yeah. is the only key to anything. Oh. <laughs> Being in this film, and you can see, when you see the poster, there's this incredible representation uh, of women in this film, from the hero to the villain, yeah. and I think that's always really important. Yeah. You know, it's great to see representation within the people in the movie yeah. whose arc is, like, you know, very heroic, but it's also nice to have the contrast yeah. and have the people who aren't so likeable, you know, and there was a... And figure out who they are and how they yeah. got there. No, I love that. It's wonderful, and so, yeah, there's a lot of inner child healing that is come from being in this film because as a little girl when I saw these posters there just wasn't that same representation and to be that maybe for some other young people is um is really meaningful that's why we love you yeah. that's it that's it right there